once again once again live on youtube i am andrea the father of the sublument the light painting project and today we're gonna work on some um, light painting pictures made with some backlight made uh, by our beautiful moon by our beautiful satellite during a full moon night this is very very hard because we don't uh, when you are um, uh, when you have a strong backlight the the more easy it's more easy to to have a, um, a silhouette as a result how we can deal with it how we can recover some shadows how we can do a nice shape without um, doing a mess <laughs> on uh, with our settings and uh, how we can enhance some details in uh, during the shot during the light painting and uh, after we in uh, post production with photoshop we'll cover all these topics today in this not beautiful afternoon <laughs> here in italy it's raining is uh, not a beautiful day but 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 speaking about light painting and uh, sublimate I remember there is a beautiful website <laughs> sublument.com even in Italian because I am <laughs> Italian um, but for anyone in the world is uh, covered fully uh, full in, in, in English well, there are a lot of uh, articles about light painting how it's made I try to cover more uh, detailed uh, topics such as uh, how to make portraits with uh, in light painting different camera settings from sunset time with a, a bright um, very very bright sky until deep night time with the no moon only stars and darkness everywhere you can see your feet <laughs> okay how you can make uh, light painting uh, in these situations and what light tubes i use i use the light light painting tubes from eric pare's store obviously they are the best you can find online and i tried in the years to uh, to create mine my own uh, light tubes with uh, acrylic uh, transparent tubes all, all the details are in this article on the left then a quick um, article about my um, my photo being uh, used uh, inside the beautiful the bible of astrophotography by erin wallace and why i don't use monuments and historical buildings in my pictures and why i use only natural or um, public domain uh, locations in my pictures for the because what is the panorama copyright the um, i cover every 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 aspect of these uh, topics in my blog sublimate dot com slash blog then you can browse my portfolio during the years what i've done you can um, learn what are the light painting experience i make with tourists and couples and single persons who are uh, want to being immortal <laughs> by my my pictures and my light painting they are they were from all around the world and some guides here they are part of my blog you can go deep learning light painting on my website and other things okay about sublimate uh, nfts 
some featuring some reviews and if you go to my patreon you can also support my project if you want and get some uh, i miss the word in english benefits some benefits for uh, who subscribe to my patreon such as private chats private video chats meetings q a more um, support for the beginners and who wants to build a business with light painting photography okay let's move on let's move on on the finder and uh, let's take a look at my pictures of the night that night was uh, it was um, start of uh, august yes 10 of august 2022 with a beautiful elenia <clears throat> we made made uh, a light painting session with a full moon but the full moon was partially covered by clouds as you can see in the first uh, hour of the session the sky the sky was basically flat with no stars okay it happens when it's full moon because the full moon is so bright that it um, hides somehow the the less bright uh, stars so the result uh, can be a empty sky but in this case it was cloudy in full summer is a <laughs> I need so much patience <laughs> for uh, for these uh, situations. But since you can't go against the the weather, <laughs> you must uh, stick with it and adapt. Like uh, every every human being should. So we tried this composition with no details. Uh, sort of vacuum no uh, sort of um, uh, pl uh, plain background with no details and uh, with much more focus on the subject and in post production i enhanced the the contrast this situation i will talk uh, later about the settings the camera settings eh? now i'm just browsing the um, browsing or browsing browsing no browsing the, the pictures of that night of that night we had uh, these uh, all these pictures they, they are beautiful the the sea was completely not completely well, it um, calmed down after a bit uh, at the beginning it was a bit wavy but but this bay is um, enough repaired by the, the open sea so it was flat at, uh, high, um, like uh, you can see in the reflections and it, may, uh, it beca became uh, more and more flat calm it's better okay but it was uh, a high tide of the water it wasn't a low tide high tide it means that if we um, if we position ourselves on the some uh, low cliffs uh, in low tide uh, we have the, um, the water at uh, foot level toes level with high tide you have the the water at um, uh, ankle yeah ankle level so it five six centimeters the difference is very evident so you must adapt for me that i am the light painter is harder because i must move in uh, high water avoiding splashes avoiding getting water on my remote my smartphone my tools it's a bit harder so we um, that night was the the, the the challenge was to position ourselves 
in the right way to have a nice composition as you can see at the beginning the composition was mm, not the best i wanted to catch the moon because it, it was bright it, it was beautiful with the clouds etc but in the background the vegetation i do, didn't like that uh, and uh, elenia uh, was um, was forced to stand on a low rock in water it wasn't uh, the, the, her movements were, were not not so uh, not so easy so uh, it was a hard night okay at the end after spending some um, half hours into water we were tired <laughs> of staying in the water we were we were a bit cold so i decide to end the session with some um, some pictures using the, the moon behind us very bright the moon a bit higher in the, in the sky that blends well with the clouds so the the, the result wa was uh, was quite uh, interesting uh, in my opinion the background was not so interesting but who cares for once the foreground was not so interesting for once because uh, there, there were uh, no no reflections for example the, there are no there is no water there is no there is nothing it is completely dark so the uh, in post production we we'll try to um, recover some shadows okay the the first mission uh, will be to have a foreground an interesting foreground as well as the the background and a nice nicer uh, silhouette and uh, try to recover also a bit the figure of Elenia here we tried so many poses so many figures as always but even if i went forward uh, towards the camera i wasn't able to um, uh, enlight the, uh, the the front the face of Elenia um, I wasn't able because um, maybe because the, the moon was uh, so bright it was so bright and uh, the backlight uh, when is you must um, go against a, a so bright uh, source of light uh, my my torch isn't enough powerful but 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 ah to be clear uh, if you are, if you are um, already following or you are uh, uh, viewing this video in uh, on demand on uh, youtube i will slice this video into chapters so don't worry if you want to find a particular a specific uh, part of uh, this video don't worry i will uh, Lies it in chapters with the time like with the time code so you can click or tap on the um, the time codes the the minutes the seconds and jump directly into uh, your favorite part your most interesting part of my uh, editing commenting and video making session here on youtube uh my face here is the getting darker so let's have a bit of of white no who cares <laughs> who cares okay no, let's, let's um, have a little more light on my desk just to not not uh, looking like i'm in a cave that's the problem with back backlight <laughs> okay <laughs> or oh, if you are a photographer an experienced photographer i know it's obvious if you are a beginner it's obvious too to have uh, to be dark with a backlight 
I know, I know, but we can recover. I will, uh, um, I will demonstrate my workflow. So it's my it's, uh, a sharing of my workflow and not a lesson on uh, of photography because I'm not a teacher. There are many many better photography teachers out, out there. Okay, but let's move on. Move on. Ah, uh, I think next 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 uh, live streaming I I'll have a, a new uh, microphone. This is the worst ever. I please. Uh, I'm sorry for this. Okay, <laughs> please uh, be be patient. And uh, my uh, my microphone will be way my new microphone will be way way better. But let's browse all my pictures once more some some more minutes they are uh, almost all them are interesting some of them are blurry or they're not blurry they are um, there is a micro movement by Elenia micro micro movement uh, blur uh, mostly of the arms and uh, the fingers just because we were tired okay I, uh, this is an extra it was uh, only a challenge uh, because usually when i have uh, when i'm making uh, light painting i try to push a little more we if we are done we made 60, uh, 60 pictures, 60 photos. Okay, let's do 20 more. Let's try a different, uh, um, a different uh, composition, a different situation, different color. And uh, let's try to get some more, a different thing, uh, an extra, an extra. Let's try an extra and let's try if we are able to be focused a little more longer during the light painting session is a sort of challenge to ourselves to myself mostly because i must direct everything and the the people i work with so uh, it's interesting sometimes it gets uh, okay sometimes mm, it's not good but who cares it's uh, a challenge okay and, and, um, one one hundred percent of the challenge um, positive uh, that ends uh, positively um, is not on this uh, on this universe. So um, it's okay. Okay, but let's change the the, the view of my raw files and uh, now it's time to select the raw files select the raw files i'm trying to be quicker as possible i remember them huh? so there is no need to to wait These ones, no, this is not good. The, uh, this is the only one I I already edited to see quickly to watch. I'm constantly confusing see and watch. That's why. Uh, that's because um, in Italian. Who, um, see and watch are mostly the same word same uh, word so there is not much difference uh, in english is a uh, uh, different situation why i'm talking while i'm talking i'm selecting the pictures no um, all of them not all of them are my favorite ever to be honest but i want to ex examine it and see what we did that night this one 
Okay, let's open them in camera row. I will jump to the elements. Hmm. Where are the elements? They are mostly the same. Let's jump to Photoshop and camera row. Okay, let's wait some seconds because my my computer is uh, working on the raw files. Uh, horizontal or vertical is better. Yes, for the preview on the video. Oh, perfect. So, rule number one: composition. When doing when making, when creating a light painting with any uh, element, uh, third uh, elements that you can't control, so, such as a uh, full moon, you must work very well with the composition. How to frame the shot? How I frame the shot? How I position myself, the subject, and the ground, what's on the ground, uh, a pond, a lake, a river, uh, sand, stones, rocks. Watch it. Watch it um, using a, a flashlight. Um, bring some light to the scene and watch what you have. And then you combine it with uh, what, you are in, uh, what, to, what you have in the sky. In the sky, what you, what you can have? Clouds, nice clouds. There are they moving uh, quickly? Uh, you must be quicker because they change the shape. You can you can um, you can use some hole in the sky, some empty with or without clouds, or uh, the clouds can bring some drama with their uh, shape because the wind the, um, is. Um, is changing very quickly their uh, shape. All of these can um, be an influence uh, factor on uh, composition, on photo composition. And you can fill the, the, the missing uh, holes, <laughs> the missing things uh, your, in your composition with the uh, light painting. Such as uh, this picture in the raw file is a bit uh, underexposed uh, photo and it's okay we'll see why but you have i have the the moon exactly behind me is uh, uh, elenia is positioned exactly in front vertically of of the moon uh, so the the composition irregular is regular uh, you have uh, a straight vertical line uh, as you can mm, I don't have uh, a tool that uh, enhance this oh no we can see we can use and you we can use these um, uh, leading lines gather the, the thirds so you can see the, the the body and a bit of uh, the head and not the center of the um, the circle but mostly are aligned vertically with the full moon behind us so it could be a nice uh, composition i would say it's a good composition but I'm not, I'm, mm, I don't want to pat my back you know, and say, oh, Andrea, you are so good, you are so good. I'm not good at composition. Maybe I'm good, okay, but I am satisfied with this composition, okay? Uh, I don't want to cheer myself up mm, 
say, ah, you're so good, so you're so good. It's not the port purpose of my live streaming. So you can see the the, the composition uh, is well balanced because all, everything is vertical. Everything, um, uh, not aligned vertically with the moon and the subject. Every everything else is not important. You can cut out and. Uh, it will remain a, a good uh, a good uh, a good photo um, i'm sorry i was uh, looking at obs so i was distracted one more one more picture different different slightly different pose Remove the bit, remove a little, but the, the, the moon is moving. Remember, the moon is very, very fast, is faster than you can imagine. Look, in this photo, you can see the moon has moved to the right, and uh, the composition is no more perfect like before. It's not a problem, nobody dies, nobody uh, cries because the composition is no more uh, geometrically perfect but uh, uh, the in, in, ter in terms of minutes, minutes, absolutely, uh, it's uh, a matter of minutes uh, the, the moon is going to, to west and you must re compose the photo after five or ten minutes is normal but you can change the shapes and uh, everything fits well uh, and and these mistakes or these um, superficial things uh, became less uh, less evident less important okay let's go to the settings the camera setting camera settings uh, all of these uh, photos uh, have uh, the same camera settings uh, except uh, for um, uh, time of expo exposure uh, obviously they are shot with a 45 millimeters the 45 millimeters if you are an experienced photographer you know why i'm using a 45 and if you are a beginner it's because the zoom the uh, um, more for uh, the longer focal um, optically gets the background closer to the subject so the moon gets a little bigger than it would be with a 24 millimeter and uh, the effect i, uh, I was uh, looking for so 45 millimeter is because i want the moon to be a little bigger in my photo then the aperture f4 the, uh, this um, this lens is uh, very very bright it's a 1.8 so i i'm trying to get it darker that or oh, get all the scene get darker to have more in focus the background otherwise with 1.8 i would have everything uh, blurry no in this case i want to uh, to get some details on the clouds as you can see is mission complete well but but with uh, f4 i need some more light some more light uh, it means a higher iso yes but 
with a so bright moon you can have a, an overexposed uh, photo is dangerous you can't recover anything from highlights burnout highlights so my my settings are iso 40 um, iso 400 iso 400 f4 45 millimeters the lens the time of the exposure is three seconds four let's see if i have uh, five maybe no i don't think four yes this is four three four three That's the reason I didn't uh, create ah seven. This is a seven, very very bright. But this um I think is a mistake of my trigger, not my will. Eh, this is a post produ produced um, photo, um, but uh, I will work later. Two seconds, uh, as you can see, is not the um, the ideal uh, situation where you can do a light painting and an exposure uh, exposure time of two seconds. Too little light, too not too much. Uh, is uh, totally dark, super dark, uh, underexposed. I don't like the result. Uh, you must work too much um, post production. Uh, my opinion, my my opinion. So uh, the simple circle uh, is not the best figure in this situation because everything would be underexposed uh, and uh, too much dark. It's not a, <laughs> a fixed rule, it's my opinion uh, right now, but I prefer larger, uh, larger shapes, bouncing the light more around and trying to compensate the, the super bright moon behind us. But now, now let's... Uh, uh, reset this one reset to default where are you reset to default no. now editing of my photos just uh, the last recap iso 400 uh, 45 millimeters f4 the aperture and time of exposure three seconds three or four seconds below the three seconds mm, it's it gets uh, too too much uh, dark let's select uh, this one let's select everyone every photo of my session there are 30 and but uh, i will take no this is blurry i don't like it let's find uh, a picture not blue blurry with a motion blur ah, this one this one could be very interesting with two seconds so i will expose this one because it's the darkest and then I will compensate the exposure in other in the other uh, pictures. Let's zoom at 100%. You can see not too much noise at the ISO 400, so we can work. Ah, by the way, is th this is the beautiful sunset tube by Eric Paré. The color is totally fantastic. One of my my favorite um, colors from light painting tubes. Uh, I have used it too much this summer. I have destroyed. I need uh, one more, <laughs> a new one. <laughs> okay. Allora, let's um, select every 
every row file in camera row I repeat I don't use camera row I don't use Lightroom because I don't need a file manager for my role files I use already my finder on the Mac my file manager for my operating system so I don't use Lightroom every effect every editing tool every function every feature um, is clearly usable in camera row and I prefer to open my row files directly on camera row and then go to the for a second step in uh, Photoshop it's my workflow maybe it's not the uh, the right maybe you can see you can say oh no Andre, you're wrong uh, Lightroom is beautiful I uh, yeah I don't care okay I prefer to open in camera row and then do the last things on uh, on photoshop if, if you have comments on my workflow please leave a comment say anything okay uh, and thank you for your opinion first thing exposure or we can white balance white balance on the subject let's see no it's too blue because the the tube is bouncing its light on the subject let's see on the on the rocks what is coming from hmm. it's funny exposing on the rocks uh, maybe these rocks are a bit um, greenish and warmer i don't care but maybe i i took the the right pixel <laughs> to have these uh, strange colors I th but I like the, the, this color palette the sunset tube uh, may vary ver to, to pink to magenta it's okay um, I will color grade uh, later in uh, this uh, row a workflow but first the exposure let's get up some exposure and more shadows now the rocks here uh, at the bottom of the the photo now they are a bit visible so a little more blacks less highlights to compensate the moon and let the moon be more visible in the sky more the, the the circle of the moon be more visible and i think it's okay let's see if the shadows can i pump up the shadows a little more it's nice uh, i have uh, many many details now on the, the bottom of the of this photo and the other photos let's take a look at the other photos mm. I'm doing good remember this this is the one of the few with two seconds exposure so they are uh, a little darker now um, a quick pause to say thank you to the to the likes of this live stream before it even went online <laughs> okay thank you thank you so much for every follower and even not the followers that came here to to watch this um, this video thank you thank you so much now step two is little more blacks and then the clarity less clarity because much more clarity is like this but mm, it's a bit artificial i prefer less because mm, it's not uh, it's glowing more the light it, mm, the clarity is a beautiful effect 
uh, for camera row and uh, Lightroom. But uh, it's a temptation. You can have a temptation to exaggerate and get some results like this. At a first I, at first sight, you can say, "Wow, it's beautiful." <laughs> it's beautiful, yes, but it looks not so professional. But, but, but if you if you go one hundred percent, you can see every uh, the lights here. The, the light painting is not blending well with the sky, um, and I don't like the the overall uh, result. With less. Uh, uh, with less clarity you get a nice glow and uh, everything is softer if if you only if you need some details i prefer to add some texture that's why uh, adobe created the um, split the clarity and the texture in the effects uh, i don't remember since uh, it's available since uh, 2019 maybe so that's why I prefer to add some texture and less clarity. Then the vibrance, a big presence of the vibrance. Okay, this is before and now 30 with vib vibrance to exaggerate and also a plus two with saturation because I want more contrast more sh um, um, more vibrant colors uh, otherwise the, um, the overall scene is um, before and after for now mm. it's okay huh? Now I messed I messed everything with my uh, white balance white balance let's see okay it was in this area it happens everything in uh, is in uh, live okay now curve no the details later now the color mixer the color mixer if you uh, saw my live streams uh, you say you already know i don't like the greenish tones on my in my pictures so let's move the greens the the aquas and the yellows far away from the green uh, more saturation for the orange oh ecco qua more saturation for the orange more for saturation for the magentas the purples mm. and even the yellows okay the moon is white wider than the, the original picture and it's okay it's not real but uh, i like it and 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 remove chromatic aberration uh, i will um, maybe it's time to go for the pur purple fringe but i don't think there are um, fringes in these pictures I hope not, but I will uh, we look for them later in other pictures. Uh, we we'll see. Then as a uh, little big netting, big netting. Okay. Now, uh, I think uh, I can apply a filter on the um, luminance range. The darker. The darker areas I can 
apply uh, more exposure more shadows and the noise reduction Too much noise reduction, but who cares? As you can see now, the details on the rocks are uh, exaggerated because there are no no details on these rocks. So let's move the slider a little bit. To lower if we go at 200 the details oh, <laughs> so grainy a lot of hot pixels it's not a problem we'll erase all of them later in uh, photoshop with an action I'm sorry, I was uh, uh, received uh, <laughs> uh, a notification. Now, 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 now. I think it's okay, but, 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 create a new mask on the sky. A new mask on the sky. Now, the AI of my Photoshop 2023. Is selecting 30 skies in my raw files. So we'll see how it's uh, managed by um, Camera Raw. Let's wait uh, some seconds. <clears throat> you are no, not watching the, um, the windows uh, that alerts me that it's working, but I'm s telling you. What's, uh, what uh, is uh, happening? Okay. Now, the, um, the sky is selected and uh, we can apply a dehaze. Just to enhance the, the clouds, not too much, uh, because uh, the hands, the haze is um, every time uh, managed not too well, not so well uh, the blending with the um, with the light painting. Let's color grade the the sky. We can go to warmer colors, for example. No, I, I'm not applying. Obviously, I'm exaggerating or colder but uh, i i think uh, the original was nice a bit of magenta to let all the green disappear no six is too much two two or one and more contrast every time take a look on how the light painting blends with the background is the most most uh, recurring 
error by me look everything every time how the, the light painting blends with the with the sky because photoshop and camera roll are set up for portraits are set up for the mountains the trees the, the buildings camera roll and adobe uh, don't, don't know what light painting is so when you are editing your uh, raw file with a beautiful figure and your beautiful light painting shape please take a look how it blends with a uh, with the sky when you apply clarity the haze and other effects and other mask okay very important so adobe please in the next releases <laughs> in the next releases please think uh, about our our um, about we light painters we light painters we exist okay adobe now i think it's okay i think everything is okay the last the very last thing is the noise reduction no 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 i'm applying to the mask is not okay i want to apply to everything detail 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 noise reduction uh, this 100 percent noise reduction i think is 35 is okay and color noise 50 like ellie wallace said and this is the first uh, pass of noise cancelling okay not sharp uh, sharpening is okay the radius is okay um, for me everything is okay in this case as you can see i recovered so much on the shadows i have uh, so many details on the ground i recovered a little more of the um, the figure of the subject of the beautiful elenia and uh, some colors on the rocks so the light was bouncing on the rocks and uh, i wanted to make it more clearly visible now i gently ask you i gently ask you to to wait uh, some seconds because i want to uh, share my live streaming okay 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 um let a quick look for for um avoiding uh, the purple fringe or uh, colors not wanted on the figure oh it's okay because the eyes or them because the tube was not uh, overexposed were not was not so bright so it's well colored inside well filled well filled with light no overexposed areas and uh, i'm pretty satisfied this time now let's open the all these files on photoshop <clears throat> and let's see what happened later in my workflow mm -hmm. open oh my tv Let's open. <clears throat> and let's talk about sublument. Now I'm celebrating my 
second uh, video on instagram above 1 million views so thank you guys thank thank you i'm so satisfied <laughs> for these results because yeah, they are uh, turning into many many people asking me uh, details informations about uh, the, my lighting painting my light paintings how i make them many many information if you want to support uh, please go to my patreon so i can have a sustainable uh, project or you can book your own uh, this for this summer your uh, your own uh, light painting session light painting experience we can do here in puglia every details is on my website uh, and uh, you can contact me info at uh, sublument.com for any anything you want to know anything you want to say <laughs> and, and if you are watching it my if you're watching this video uh, on demand here on youtube you can leave a comment i will answer to anyone because i don't have uh, millions of uh, followers of su subscribers on youtube yet <laughs> so i can still answer to to anyone and uh, mm, i think in in the next uh, month maybe i can set up a q a session and ama and ask me anything to make more cl uh, things clear about light painting and how I work, because we, <laughs> my my workflow is not the only, the only one. I'm not the best uh, in the world, so I'm only sharing my workflow, my own, my personal workflow. That's how I work. In the, the past episodes of the my light painting. I, I, uh, 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 no, no, uh, this, this one. I showed how I removed myself in this picture. So many people ask me, how do you remove uh, uh, yourself in, from the picture? Um, uh, how much Photoshop uh, is uh, used in your photos to, to remove uh, my, your figure every time? how you get rid of that man that is behind the, the man is me how um, you can rid of that bold uh, <laughs> person uh, in the background uh, are you a jedi are you a master of uh, something no i'm not a master of uh, anything but i can remove myself with photoshop in I must remove myself in Photoshop. I must remove myself with Photoshop in 10% of the cases. Not so many times, not so often, often because I align myself well with a subject. As you can see in all these pictures. Okay? In this picture, for example, for example, I'm not visible at all because I, I put my feet uh, correctly I put myself correctly behind Elenia and I am backlit, backlit like Elenia so I could be clearly visible I, I, I'm standing in a cozy way finally for once for once I'm clearly I'm standing uh, Confly and not with a uh, with um, the danger of uh, falling uh, into water. I am not slipping. I'm not, I'm not squatting uh, in a strange way. So when I can stand uh, comfortable in a comfortable way, I can hide myself correctly and being completely visible, invisible. So, I don't need Photoshop in 90% 90, 90 of the cases. 
most of the cases are invisible it it happens so it's not a problem like this but in this case it was was uh, it wasn't um, possible to hide because otherwise I would be standing on my knees on the rocks <laughs> and uh, my movement my my shape my, my light painting shape would be not so regular not like I wanted to to do to make so I decided to stand to stand on my feet regularly like a normal human being and make my my shape and then I erase myself with uh, 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 with the clone stamp combined with an, another layer um, of um, content aware fill is the the, the new tool no, it's not uh, it's, uh, it's a recent uh, tool by adobe that helps a lot when erasing something using artificial intelligence okay the the, the import of the camera the raw files has ended so we can move on and delete my hot pixels from the photo wait 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 no 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 now file automate batch <coughs> there are my actions one of my action is remove hot pixel source open ed files and let's apply to the 30 files say open it wow one hour of uh, of live streaming <coughs> okay I was telling you <clears throat> I was telling you uh, about my how I delete myself from my photos and when it's mandatory when I can avoid and how can I can how can I avoid being visible in my photo? One trick is to align yourself with the subject and the camera. It's the most uh, easy. It's the easier way to hide and avoid uh, to, to be still, uh, avoid uh, try to be blurry, better than immovable so we'll cover this uh, topic more uh, with more precision preci precision later this uh, in the next uh, weeks i must script everything well so i need some time photoshop did you did you process every every picture uh, ah let's switch to camera no to photoshop okay a good zoom yes ah, okay wow you did a nice job photoshop let's see this okay nice ah this is a mistake i don't like it The first one is nice. Nice, nice. What do you think if you are watching it in uh, on demand? Please let me know what you think about this uh, set of pictures now. The next step is to com um, export the, the pictures and then we can talk about the video. But I think for, for once I can stop this, um, this live streaming now. I told you a lot of uh, tips and tricks about my 
uh, raw editing and this time you uh, please remember my my camera settings how you can set up your uh, your composition your photo composition using the moon on your back so okay it's backlit your subject is, uh, is backlit so it's not visible on my color please don't use a flash okay in nature there is no flash <laughs> okay if you want to lit up your subject use the tubes use your light painting waves your use a shape that lit up the subject if you are not um, enlightening uh, your subject properly don't use a flash it's not uh, necessary okay otherwise it's not line painting more it's not it's not more light painting if you use a flash okay this is my this is my personal opinion um okay i think it's uh, it's okay for now 71 minutes of uh, live streaming 